Let me introduce myself. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Marie Curie. Oh, sorry. Let me introduce myself. For the one who does not know me, my name is Marie Solomia Slovenska Curie. But I'm also known as Marie Curie. I was born on November 7, 1867. As you can tell from my name, I was born in Poland. And more specifically, I was born in Warsaw. In my family, both my parents were teachers. I lived a happy life until I was 10. I lost my mother, Bronislava, due to tuberculosis, but I did not lose hope. I saved enough money to go to the most popular university in France in 1891. I finally made it to the capital of love and romance. After four years in Paris, I made it the most wonderful, I married the most wonderful man, Pierre Curie, who helped me give birth to two child, Irene Curie and Eve Curie. With my husband, we worked on radiation, and by playing with it, we discovered polynom and radium. And not talking about me. Now I'm going to explain. Now I'm going to explain you how I discovered my atomic theory by adopting the study of Harry Bagel, who discovered the element of radiation and uranium. I began to start the study of those elements to see if there were other composition in this strange energy. Within days, I discovered that thorium was also emitted as radiation, and I also, and that the amount of radiation depends upon the amount of the element in the compound. It is how I discovered that radioactivity does not depend on the ways that the atoms are arranged into molecules, but rather organized with the atom themselves. As I was working in a team with my husband, we worked even further into radiation. In 1898, we announced the discovery of two new elements, radium and polonium. I isolated a pure sample of these elements. It took me more than four years to backbreaking effort to extract one decigram of radium chloride from several tons of wax ore. But in 86, but in 1806, my previous husband was killed in traffic in a tra traffic accident. But I did not stop my research, and I did carry on his research, and I appointed to fill Pierre's position at the Saborno. I'm happy to tell that I was the first woman to achieve the professional rank. During my lifetime, I won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 93. And in 1911, I won the second Nobel Prize, this time on symmetry for I associated a pure radium and I know that I will die from aplastic anemia. anemia. For the one who does not know what it is, I will explain it to you. Aplastic anemia is developed in a result of bone marrow. The damage can be present at birth or after having some exposition to radiation, toxic chemical, some drugs or infection. Oh, and I forgot to mention that during the World War I, I served as the director of Red Cross Rabiology Service, treating over an estimate of one million soldiers with my X-ray unit. I hope that all my research will help future scientists. For now, I need to go. I hope you will have a wonderful day, and don't forget, don't get too much exposed to radiation.